having now almost, I guess, 30 years behind, um, and, and kind of how you think about that. How would you rank your studio albums? Because you got a bunch of live stuff and whatnot, but your studio albums there, how would you rank them in your personal opinion at this moment in time from worst <laughs> to best? Worst to best? I mean, they're all best. They're all worst. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know what you mean. But gun to your head. Oh, my God. Well, you know, I never like to personally rank things because I know people have their favorites. Yeah. So maybe I could generalize a little bit. I would say sure. because uh, I don't know when. This pl- is how about how about this? You could maybe say, where should someone else start? I, I would say start with the new album. Of course, always naturally. It's what you're doing right now. It's what it's what a band is up to. It's like, OK, this yeah. is what the world looks like in our eyes. Um, but. I would say ranking all of them the way I want to sound, the way I want to sound, the last two records are the way I want to sound. So like it started with self-titled in 2018. You hear Let's Ride. That sounds like we sound live, I feel like. It okay. sounds – when you see a live show, yeah, okay, aside from me forgetting a lyric or two or something like that, but I mean, Tom screws up a guitar part. But besides that, it sounds like what we sound live. And that's kind of what I was, you know, that was going for on that record. And on this new record, we started with that vibe, but then just added some extra little bits and pieces that Mm -hmm. maybe aren't as live. But um, from there, I really feel like sonically, (laughs) I really, really like a mix between a secret weapon, the way that mix sounds and like the song itself, especially Um, definitely my favorite song on secret weapon. Um, And then the sound of life in general. So like those two sounds like secret weapons, very polished, but still has, still has like energy. It has punch to it. And then you put like life in general, that's just pure raw motion, raw energy. Um, those are probably my favorite two sounding records aside from the new okay. ones. The new ones are like the ever passing moment like. is my personal favorite. Cause I kind of feel like it's a mm-hmm. little bit of both of those things. It still sounds cool. like, well, I mean, you guys never changed your sound really, but like it still sounds like the old MXPX, but it's definitely a little bit more polished. It's got that major label kind of production to it and stuff. So that, that's my personal favorite. That was all Jerry Finn. Jerry Finn like made that. Oh, sound. okay. I don't know. He yeah. did that one. There we yeah, go. He did that. Yeah. And I love the sound of the record too. At the time, it was exactly what we wanted. Um, I would say right now, I would take the verb down slightly, but like I don't want to see. I hate saying that kind of stuff because I really don't care that much. Like it doesn't bother right. me. And uh, nobody hears that other than you or right, you know, right. engineers. Nobody hears that shit. Yeah, I hope like, so. Like, oh, that reverb's a little plastic. And like, I don't even know what that <laughs> means. I just like the chorus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like getting able to do, you know, records in-house it's just so stress-free it's fun we can try things i mean we've tried things you know on all the records but i feel like for a while there we were just rushing through the process let's just get this done let's rush through it and um and with this new album we tried not to do that we tried to just it takes as long as it takes let's just if we have to redo anything we'll redo stuff like they're all legit be like we'll be done with a song done recording i'll get the mix and I'll be like, you know what? I got to redo this bridge. I'm just not feeling the bridge. It just doesn't have the energy I need or, or things like that. Like I've, I've done that. And Which you can't do when you, I mean, I guess you could, but you don't want to do that when you're paying two grand a day for some fancy studio in LA. Exactly. You really don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Yeah. And, and it's like, okay. Even Jerry, if you should call up somebody like Jerry Finn to like, Hey, can you come down and like redo this bridge part? Like, yeah. come on. So yeah. Love being able to do that. So is that is that a big part of the reason? I guess starting, are, you're still independent. Is that right? We are still independent. Yeah. So is that a big? Yeah. I mean, you've had lots of options. I'm sure there's tons of labels that would want to sign you. What made you choose to go that route? You know, I feel like we screw things up all the time, and labels screw things up all the time. So we might as well just do it ourselves <laughs> at that point. Um, it's workload. It really is. It's a lot of work, but because MXPX is my full-time job, um, 
although Goldfinger, but it doesn't take him much time. I don't have to do business. Sure. Um, I I don't know. Like it literally is the difference between houses. Like, can I afford to pay for four or five houses? Not if I'm on a record label, you know. So right. like record labels are great to just like keep you going, keep you promoted. They're not great to keep you paid. And sure. we got bills to pay up here in MXPX land. And so we found that DIY is is more stressful, but it's more money. So like we can yeah. just bring in more cash, more capital to put back into, you know, all the things we do here, live streams, free live streams, not having to charge people for sure. every nickel dimey thing. And um, and we do the the merch store ourselves, mxpx.com. We run that. My mom actually manages the store. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, it's awesome because like who who else are you gonna trust? I mean, some people have terrible moms that you shouldn't trust, but <laughs> my mom's been pretty solid. So yeah. uh, you know, it's just like it's it's uh it's not a situation that most bands actually have the opportunity to take advantage of. So it's not even like, oh, I'm gonna do this because this is the best way. I'm going to do this because I have the opportunity to do this because this, this presented itself. My parents happened to be awesome and they helped me out with the business. And so it just works out. So everything we ship out, we ship out from Bremerton and you know, it, it makes things a little harder in some ways, but like I said, it brings in a lot more you of get that. To keep a lot capital. of the money instead of keeping 15% of it. I hate talking about money on these things, you know, cause people don't like to hear about that. And I, I certainly don't, don't enjoy those conversations, but it is true. I mean, it is, but it's reality. It's, it's reality. reality. Yeah. You know, 